In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an adapter like this to connect your USB devices to your iPad using USB-C. Let's go. If you have an iPad Pro, an iPad Air, fourth generation, or the 2021 iPad mini, you're in the right place. They all have a USB-C port and need an adapter like this to connect up USB devices. If you're using an iPad that has a lightning connection, there's a video up there and down in the description that will help you out. And there's also links to all of the gear that I use in this video down in the description as well. So to connect your USB devices to your iPad, you'll need an adapter like this that takes the USB-C connection and turns it into a standard USB 3.0, which is called a USB-A connection. This adapter from Atola, which they were kind enough to send to me, is super cool because not only does it have USB-A, it's got USB-C power pass-through, which is important for reasons I'll show you in a moment. It's also got HDMI and even VGA output if you want to go a bit old school. There's different configurations of these, and I've got links to all of those down in the description. To connect the adapter, it's as simple as plugging it into the USB-C port on your iPad, and now all of these ports are connected and ready to Go. We can then take any device, I'll use this Steinberg UR22C interface and plug that in to the USB port. If we spin this one around now, you can see that that's going to light up there and it's going to connect and in a moment it'll flash up here, the USB light will come on, we're connected, we're ready to go and GarageBand here will identify that we've got this plugged in. All we do now is plug in our microphone or our guitar and start recording. It's as simple as that. Now something you may be pondering is what about powering up my iPad? You can see there that the iPad's not charging because it's using its USB-C port to connect up to here. Well, this is where the power pass-through can come in handy. So I have the other end of this cable plugged into AC power. And if we plug that in here, what that's going to do is start sending power through. And in a moment, you'll see up here, it's going to charge up our iPad. But wait, what's it done to our interface? Well, what it's doing now is that there's being power drawn here, but there's not enough power to go to the interface. It's a bit of a quirk of some interfaces. Now, yours may work fine and you not need any additional power but if you do need additional power or more usb ports that's where a powered usb hub can come in it's super handy so let's unplug our power from there for the moment just so that we can make our steinberg happy again and let's bring in our other device which is a powered usb hub now this is an eight port hub from atola you've got four usb 3 three usb 2 and a smart charging port there so what we can actually do is plug that into ac power and then the other end this usb USB plug is actually going to go directly into our adapter here and what this is going to give us is all of these seven ports available to use and be powered with our iPad. Let's show you that now. So here's that USB cable from the powered hub. It's going to go into the USB port here on the adapter and there you go. This is all now ready to go and if we tap on one of these it's gonna turn on that port. Let's now plug our interface into one of these ports. So I've gone the quick switcheroo because I like using these short cables. All we need to do is hit the button there to turn it on here on the hub plug into there and there you go that's connecting up our Steinberg will now be super happy because it's getting its own separate power through this hub and it's now connecting over to our iPad which will pop up like so and be ready to rock and roll and to record in here from either of our channels and the cool thing is you've now got additional ports here that you can turn on and connect up mice keyboards MIDI controllers you can swap out for a USB microphone the sky's the limit and there's another video linked up there and in the description description showing you all the different gear you can connect to your iOS device. Oh, and remember that power pass-through port here on the Atola? Well, we can now use another cable here to connect up to this smart charging port. Turn that one on and plug the other end here into the Atola. And now we can power everything, including powering up our iPad from this one powered hub. Now, make sure you're using only the smart charge port there. If you use the other ports, it's not going to work. You're going to create a weird USB loop. It's it's not going to be fun for your devices. So smart charging port just for power and all your other ports are for your USB gear. So there you go, a simple and effective way to connect your USB audio devices to your iPad using USB-C. So you can set up your own mobile studio. There's links to all the gear down in the description as well as a bunch of other videos all about connecting up your gear here in iOS. Thanks for watching. See you next time.